try and get through this without the phone ringing. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a great week so far. I am here in my parents' living room, so I'm really hoping the phone behind me doesn't ring. It hardly ever does, but it would be typical that it rings while I'm filming this video. But I wanted to do it down here because I never get to film down here and I'm actually looking after the dog right now anyway, so I can keep an eye on him better down here than I could upstairs and my room is an absolute mess. I am filming this before my packing away for Christmas video, which if you didn't see that, it went up on Tuesday. I will leave a card up above. But basically, because of the tree and because of all of my presents, there was no room for me to sit in front of my own tree to film this video. And I've also bought a new trolley for my new emos, which I will probably show you in February. So there was just nowhere for me to sit, so I thought I will sit down here, the house is empty, I've got to look after the dog anyway, so it just made sense to be down here. Now I do this video every single year, I don't mind whether or not people watch it because I understand that not everybody wants to see what people got for Christmas but a lot of people do. I don't post it on Instagram because I think it's harder for someone to not see that if they're actively trying to avoid seeing what somebody got for Christmas. I think it's much easier to put it on YouTube so if you don't like these kind of videos you can just skip past it and watch next week's video which will be more of my Squishmallow collection if you're interested. So that's why I haven't really posted about what I got for Christmas on Instagram, it's just not fair on those who don't want to see this kind of content and I completely understand why someone wouldn't. I personally love seeing these kind of things and I love filming this video for you guys as well. So let's hope that this video goes off without any hitches, no phones ringing, no doorbell going, no noise, just me and you going through what I got for Christmas. So I'm not going to do it how I usually do where I go by what my parents got me and then other things. I'm mostly doing the Disney things I got. I did get some books, I did get bath stuff but I'm just going to show you my Disney stuff, my Taylor Swift stuff, and my Squishmallow stuff. There's been no Harry Potter this year because everyone has got on board with the fact that I don't buy Harry Potter merchandise anymore, which I really appreciate. There are things I would love to buy, but I just don't feel like I can. I don't feel like I need it. A few moments later. I actually don't mind that much because it was a shop Disney parcel and look how big it is. I've bought an advent calendar in the sale that I will use next Vlogmas if I do Vlogmas and I've also bought myself a jigsaw. <laughs> but I didn't buy it with like Christmas money or anything so it wasn't going in this video but I'm glad it's here. So the door going has made me lose my train of thought, I'm not gonna lie. The camera angles probably just changed slightly because I had to watch back my video to see what I was saying before the door went. But basically, there are some things that I would love to buy still. I would love a Ravenclaw spirit jersey. I would love a Ravenclaw Build-A-Bear outfit that I could use for gelatone. But I don't think I need any of it enough to give JK Rowling money. If it had been a gift, I would obviously accept it, but I've not been buying it for myself. I did say when I stopped collecting that I was limiting what I was buying, but every single time I look at something I like, I start to think, do I really need it? You know, it's not food, it's not essential clothing, I don't need it enough. And you know, if she just apologised and made things right, I could go back to buying Harry Potter things. I could even be a Disney slash Harry Potter channel because at one point in my life I loved Harry Potter more than I loved Disney. That is how much it means to me. But obviously everybody in my life knows that so there's nothing Harry Potter in this haul. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm not going to do it by who gave it to me, I'm going to go in categories. And I should be able to remember who got me what, but this isn't everything like I said because it's not my non-Disney stuff. So I'd like to preface this by obviously saying I'm not trying to brag, this isn't a brag, I just know a lot of people like these videos and I like watching these videos and I create content that I would like to see on YouTube. I am incredibly grateful for everyone who wished me happy Christmas, sent me a card, sent me a gift, sent me money. 
I appreciate every single thing I am given and I cannot believe how much I have been spoiled this year. So I'm going to start with like bath stuff. Like I said, I did get non-Disney bath stuff, but this is just my Disney bath stuff. So this was from my friend Becca. She did get me a few other things which you're going to see in this haul. The only thing you won't see is a candle that she got me because I've already started using it. But the first thing she got me was this Tigger Passion Fruit Face Mask. This is by Mad Beauty and as you can see on the back it turns you into Tigger and I just cannot wait to use this. And then the next thing was from Jo and Andy at Park Pioneer. They got me a Pascal Bath Fizzer. They know that I have a lot of baths because we will be mid-conversation. I will just disappear and then I'll come back and say sorry I was in the bath. So they got me this Pascal bath fizzer. I'm not sure who it's by but it's colour changing so I'm really excited to see how this looks in the bath. And then I think the final bath item on its own I got is this Disney Villains set which is a poison apple sponge and a cauldron bath fizzer. I have always wanted this bath fizzer because I think it will just look so cool in the bath. This is again by Mad Beauty and it was from my cousin Emma. And then the next two items I wanted to show you how this looked as a whole package because I'm going to be taking out bits to show you and you won't get to see how it actually looked. So my Auntie Pam and her partner Headley got me this beautiful hamper of Disney items that was personalised to me. I thought it was so thoughtful. She did it for my mum as well. You could only tell ours apart by the D and the E on the mugs. So this is what it originally looked like. I've obviously taken out a lot of the chocolate now, but I'm going to go through what I got in there with you. So she got me this Mad Beauty Mickey Mouse Cranberry Bubble Bath. I have been sent one of these by Superdrug as well, which you will know if you follow me on Instagram, Lizzie and Disney. So I have two of these to use now. Whenever I just have one of something, I'm like, oh, I don't want to use it because then I won't have it anymore. But I've got two, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And then I got this Primark Peach Scented Lip Balm. My mum got the cherry. My auntie knows us well enough to know that I hate anything cherry. So it rips down the middle. My mum got the cherry and I got the peach. And then she got me this Mickey hand cream. This is again by Mad Beauty. Mad Beauty are like the leaders in Disney like beauty ranges and bath stuff. And I absolutely love this hand cream so I'm so happy to get more of it. And then she got me a Primark strawberry face mask which makes you look like Minnie Mouse which I'm really excited to use. And this little pouch which obviously is intended for makeup but I will probably use it for like masks and stuff when I go away because I like to keep my masks kind of quarantined in my luggage until I need to use them. And finally, for the beauty stuff in my hamper, she got me this gorgeous Minnie Mouse paddle brush. I absolutely love paddle brushes because obviously I've got very long hair. It doesn't look that long because it's curly, but when it's really wet in the shower and it goes as straight as it can for curly hair, I guess, it's a lot longer than this. So I really, really love this brush. And then I'm going to show like miscellaneous things because I've got a decoration, I've got a pin, I've got some other things that won't really fit into like one category so I'm going to do those now. In that hamper my auntie got me this Mickey Mouse bauble, I believe it's from Asda but I could be wrong. Obviously you've seen me pack away for Christmas but I haven't done it yet so I need to make sure that this is really really safe because I don't want it to get broken. And then this is a necklace from my friend Eleanor. I haven't shown anything from Eleanor yet, but she did get me some bath fizzers, which I started using straight away because I completely forgot that they needed to be in this video. So this is the picture I took of everything Eleanor got me for Christmas. And she got me this beautiful Luxo Ball necklace. And I just absolutely love it. It came in this really, really cute pink pouch as well. And then from my friend Lucy, Lucy's Room Toys on Instagram, she got me this If You Can Dream It, You Can Do It postcard from Briar Rose Gifts. I'm not sure whether she bought this for me or made it for me because she's very, very crafty. But she also gave me this Monsters Inc. button, which is Mike and Sully hugging Boo. And it says hugs all around, hugs and smiles, and I just absolutely love it. And then she also got me this Sully pen. I'm not actually sure where it's from. It's Yen, so I think it's from the Japan Disney Store. It's a Sully at the top that you click with 
and then it's blue with white polka dots down the pen and I'm always writing so I can't have enough pens basically. And then finally for like miscellaneous stuff I did mention in my 2021 favourites which if you didn't see that I'll leave a card up above that my favourite pin was a Christmas gift and it was from the Jodie and Laura Life and it is the Walt Disney Day 2021 pin. Walt is on the television and the puppies from the 101 Dalmatians are watching the television. And I just absolutely love it. I love 101 Dalmatians. You know I love Walt, so this was perfect for me. I didn't want to put this in miscellaneous, but now I'm thinking about it, there's nothing that goes with it for like a category. So following on from the Walt pin, Joe and Andy from Park Pioneer also got me the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary jigsaw which is of the partner's statue in front of the castle. I really, really wanted this, but I didn't know whether I'd be able to get it to the UK from Florida because jigsaws are heavy. So when I opened my present, and this is what they got me, I was absolutely blown away. They got me so many amazing things that you're going to see in this video. And it's been really, really hard to not use this because the second I opened it, about a week or two before Christmas, I was like, I wanna build this now but I've relented, I haven't done it yet. But now that I've shown you, I can definitely get started on it. Okay, so I'm filming this a couple of days later because this wasn't in with my Christmas gifts because we kind of did this as a swap from when I went to Disneyland Paris. But my partner channel, Geeking Out with Melly Mel, got me this gorgeous Walt Disney Imagineering pen of Sorcerer Mickey. I actually collect these. And then for my Hard Rock Cafe pin collection, which if you haven't seen it, I will leave a card up above. She got me this 50th anniversary Hard Rock Cafe holiday series pin. So if you spin it round, it says happy holidays and I absolutely love it. And then she got me a fret pin, which I don't actually own any of these. It says Hard Rock Cafe Orlando. I asked her to get me this on her last trip because I started collecting Hard Rock Cafe pins after I went to Orlando, um, many years after. So she got me this and it says In God We Trust and I really, really love it. And then finally, she got me this gorgeous Harry Potter pin. I'm not sure where it's from exactly, but I just really, really love it. It's got all of the houses represented and it's got Hogwarts on it and I love it. So thank you, Mel, for those. Now I'm going to go on to drinkware. So Becca, who got me the Tigger face mask and the candle, also got me this beautiful Disney Skinny Dip Marie bottle because she knows the Aristocats is in my top three. I absolutely love this. It's Marie in all different positions and it will be perfect for work. And then from my cousin Wayne and his wife Claire, they got me this Thumper mug that says Happy Bunny and it comes with a matching pair of socks and this is from Paladone. And then back on to what my auntie got me in my hamper, I did say that you could only differentiate between mine and my mum's by what the mug said. She got me this E mug, I actually don't have this one, not even in an L, so it's an E with Mickey and Minnie holding hands in front of the E. I absolutely love it and like I said when you looked at both hampers they were pretty much identical apart from the mug. She actually had us open them together, I wish I'd got someone to film it now. Still staying on the hamper because there's two more things in there I can show you so we're going to go on to clothing. So they got me some socks from Sainsbury's which are exactly the same feel and fit as the Christmas socks I got so I know I'm going to love them. I just love that they match my car. I love all things Minnie Mouse as you guys know. And then finally she got me some Mickey Mouse pyjamas and I think my mum's got the exact same pair so I can't wait to wear those. And then finally for like clothing items Joe got me a lovely The Child t-shirt. It's actually currently in the wash. While I'm filming this video, the washing machine is paused because I don't want it making any noises that could be picked up by the camera. So Joe got me this lovely The Child t-shirt. I think it was from HMV. And on the day I wore it, I did send him a picture of what it looked like. So that is the best I can do for you guys. Here is that picture. I absolutely adore it. And it was a perfect fit because he was worried it wouldn't fit me. But it was such a lovely fit. And he also got me my favorite bath bomb from Lush as well. And I suppose in clothing, I can show you a handbag I got. And this is the first thing I'm showing you that my mom and dad got me. They got me the Monsters Inc 20th anniversary lounge fly. So as you can see, it is 
is a handbag. It is bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's got a chain that's still all wrapped up. The front is Boo's door and if you open it, you've got Mike and Sully at the door and I just absolutely love that. It's got the Disney lounge fly plaque on the back and you've got random on the back as well. And then if you open the zip, the print inside says 20 years of Monster Inc. And I just absolutely adore it. I did actually know I had this because I pre-ordered it and then when it arrived, I gave it to my mum. But then by the time Christmas day came around, I'd completely forgotten about it. So I'm really, really happy with this bag and I can't wait to start using it. Now we're gonna go on to notebooks. I did miss this out in the miscellaneous. I did have another pen. This one was from Joe's mom, and it is a Mickey Mouse pen where Mickey is the clicker at the top and then it's white and red all along the bottom. And like I said, I can never have too many pens. And then Joe's mom also got me this to-do list from Primark. If you flip it over, it has lined paper and another pen. I absolutely love making to-do lists, especially when it comes to what videos I need to film on a Sunday. I like to make a list, so that's exactly what I'm going to be using this for. And then another present from the Jodie and Laura Life was this absolutely gorgeous Walt Disney World 50th notebook. It says, the world's most magical celebration down the spine. It's got iridescent sprayed edges, which I love. And it's even got sequined stars around the castle. I almost don't want to use this because of how pretty it is, but I will have to at some point. And the back is lovely as well. I cannot believe they even got this for me. I didn't know it existed. It looks a lot like the lounge fly bag that they do. But when I opened it, I was like, I didn't even know about this. It's gorgeous. It's definitely something I would have bought for myself, which shows how well they know me. And then the next two notebooks are both Tyler Swift. So the first one was off Eleanor. She got me this Speak Now notebook. You know it's Speak Now because the lyrics on the front, Remember This Moment, are from Long Live. I'm really hoping that this gets re-recorded this year. And it says on the back, be creative in this beautifully designed Taylor Swift journal. You can write and treasure your thoughts, ideas and dreams. And it was actually from her official website. It has a this belongs to, and then it's all lines with little flowers in the corner. And I just absolutely love it. Again, I'm gonna struggle to use this one because I just love it so much. But oh, I just love that my friends all know I love Taylor Swift. And then the final one was from Joe and Andy at Park Pioneer. I even said to her, like, I know you don't like Taylor Swift, so I really appreciate that you bought me this because I know sometimes when someone doesn't like an artist, they don't even want to buy the merchandise as a gift for someone, so I really, really appreciate this. It is a Lover notebook. You can tell it's Lover by the blues and the pinks, and, you know, it's just reminiscent of the Lover era, and then it says Swifty in the Lover writing. And again, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to use this because it's just so perfect that I don't wanna use it, but I will have to. And then on to actual reading books. I got two Disney ones. The first one was from my mum and dad, and it's What Once Was Mine, which is the Rapunzel Twisted Tale. I haven't read any of the Twisted Tales yet, but I have got them all. So I do need to get a move on and read those in 2022, but I'm really, really happy to have this. And then my friend Connie got me The Haunted Mansion, Imagineering a Disney classic, which I've always, always wanted. It's been on my Amazon wish list for forever, I think, ever since I first got my Amazon wish list. I absolutely love The Haunted Mansion. It's one of my top three with Small World and Pirates of the Caribbean, and I can't wait to get stuck into this book. And then this isn't a reading book, but it's a photo book. My mum had this made for me to commemorate one of my favourite memories from 2021 and it was my very first Disney PR event. Well, my first PR event, full stop really. And I just love that she knew it meant so much to me that I would want to commemorate it. So I really, really appreciate her doing this for me. She always does a photo book from every single one of our Disney trips. So I love that she did this for me as well. And then we're gonna go on to Funko Pops. There is one that isn't in this video because I got it early. Joe's nan and granddad gave me money. And with that, I bought an Eeyore Funko that was Christmas. So I was allowed it early so that it could sit with my other Christmas items. So I will show you where that's sitting in my Christmas Funko Pop pyramid. But these four are all from my parents, but these are all from Mankind. I actually knew I had them because I was actually the one who picked them out a couple of months before Christmas. 
The first one is The Mandalorian holding Grogu. I absolutely love this one. I love that The Mandalorian's got his helmet off because I personally love the actor as well as the character and I just think the little Grogu's adorable. And then I had to get a Loki because I absolutely adore Tom Hiddleston. I did want President Loki, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I opted for regular Loki, but they do actually do a President Loki, so I've just got to try and track it down. And then I got 50s Vision because my favorite part of WandaVision was when it was in the 50s. I love that scene where he's like, what are you wearing? And she's like, oh, the dress, and he's like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I just absolutely love that scene. I just think it's adorable. So I've got 50s Vision, and I've got 50s Wanda. I also wanted Wanda in the 70s when she is pregnant. She is actually on the back of this box, but the 70s Vision is really, really rare, and I didn't want one without the other, but I just loved that she was like balancing her cereal bowl on her pregnant belly, and I loved the 70s vibe as well. So I'm really, really glad to have both of the 50s pops. And then I've got one more thing to show you before we go on to the plush. It is a Disney tradition. It has been sat with me all of this time. It's a hella big box and there's a sneak peek of what it is. So I'm just going to very carefully get it out of the box and then I can show it to you. A few moments later. So this is my absolute grail. When I heard that it was coming, I said I absolutely have to have that. It was very expensive and we kind of questioned why. And then when the box arrived, I remember a big box arrived and I said to mum, what is it? And she was like, you've got to have one surprise for Christmas. Because at that point I knew everything I had for Christmas. So she kind of ran upstairs with it. And then a few weeks later, I sent her a screenshot and I was like, it's on Shop Disney. And she was like, you've just spoiled what that big box was. I was like, oh my goodness, it's that big. It is the Rapunzel Tower Disney tradition. So this is called Dreaming of Floating Lights. It was £99 because of its size and the detail that went into it. You can even see a little Rapunzel in the tower. It's my absolute favourite tradition now, hands down. I feel bad for all my previous traditions, but this one is my favourite now. I absolutely adore it and I can't believe I got it because I didn't think I'd be able to get it. I'm so grateful to my parents for buying this for me. You guys know that I always get traditions for my birthday and Christmas and I didn't think I was getting any until I accidentally spoiled this surprise and I'm just absolutely overwhelmed at how beautiful it is basically. And now it's time to go on to plushies and there are so many of them. I'm actually going to start with things that my friends bought me for my new emos. So the Jodie and Laura Life also got me a new emos outfit. This is one of the 50th anniversary outfits. I did already have this one but it's not a problem because I can have two of my new emos wearing the same outfit and be matching and I just absolutely adore it. I really love this top. Minnie actually wore this to Disneyland Paris because I thought, well, it's just a castle at the end of the day, like it is the 50th outfit, but it's a castle, so it will still work for Disneyland Paris. She did have a few outfits on the trip, but I'm thinking the princesses could match or maybe Daisy and Minnie could match, but I'm really, really grateful to have another outfit for my new emos. And then my friend Lucy gave me a stocking for my new emos and inside the stocking it had a little book to use as a toy prop and a little pack of playing cards so I can't wait to get creative with this. Lucy is my absolute inspiration when it comes to new emos pictures because she takes amazing pictures with her Toy Story toys and little mini toy props. And another thing she got from my new emos which I'm so overwhelmed with is a little framed picture of Walt and Mickey so that I can take Walt Wednesday pictures with my new emos. And then the final thing for my new emos came from Becca. This was handmade, she did tell me that she had done something for my new emos and I didn't know what it was. It was in this little box and the card said Minnie was a little bit jealous of your silly plush collection so I made her one of her own and she literally made me a felt silly that's big enough for my new emos. She has a new emo of her own, she has the Winnie the Pooh and I actually bought her Kermit for Christmas. So she used Winnie the Pooh as like a guide for the size 
and I was just completely overwhelmed that she made that for me and I took this picture of me with the Sully and Minnie with the Sully and I just can't believe that she did that for me. And then before I go on to actual plush, I did get some money for Christmas. So I bought this from Builder Bear, which I think I'm going to put on Lena Bell. And if you haven't seen Lena Bell yet, I will leave a card up above to my video of her. I got the Encanto dress from Builder Bear because Builder Bear outfits do fit the Duffy and Friends. I'm not sure how it's going to work with Lena Bell's tail. This might actually have to go on like Cookie or something, but I absolutely had to get this dress because I loved it in Encanto. It was an amazing film and I was obsessed with Mirabelle's dress, so I had to get it. So on to plushes, I'm going to start with Squishmallows and these are from Joe and Andy at Park Pioneer. They knew that I had the winter set of the Costco plushes, so they got me the Bright set as well. So you will be seeing these in a future Squishmallow collection. There are eight of them and they are all absolutely gorgeous and I think they've got little tags so you can hang them on a tree but I'm just going to hang them on my wall and I just absolutely love them so thank you so much Joe and Andy for getting these for me. This one was for my dog collection because I'm absolutely obsessed with Squishmallow dogs and it was from my friend Rach, Rachel Dawn on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube and she got me the Bulldog so I have been collecting these I have the like German Shepherd I think it is and I have the Shetland I think it is and I just need the pug now so I don't know how easy it will be to get the pug but I know this one was really hard to find so I'm so grateful to her for getting it for me. And then my final Squishmallow is a Grail and again you will see it again in another Squishmallow collection video now that I'm doing those again. My granddad gave me Christmas money and I knew exactly what I was going to spend it on and I got this goofy Squishmallow. So once I managed to get Mickey and Minnie which were originally my Grails, Goofy became my new Grail and then the Sully with Boo became my new Grail which I also have. So my current Grail I think is probably the Belle and I don't know how I'm going to get her but I'm really really happy to have this goofy Squishmallow. Another thing that I got early for Christmas, Joe's mom got me the Primark Mickey and Minnie plushes that are at the bottom of my Christmas tree. So that's where they will be until they get packed away. But this was my main gift from Joe's mom. And then I've got some Walt Disney World 50th plushes to show you. These are both from my parents. I bought them from Double Box Toys and then just before they shipped, Shop Disney UK got them. So I was really annoyed, but that is how I managed to get the Chippendale that I showed in my December favorites, which if you missed that, I'll leave a card up above. They do also have a Pluto, but I'm kind of holding out to see whether they release a Donald or a Daisy or a Goofy would be my favorite. So this one is Mickey Mouse. I can't remember how much they were on Double Box Toys, and I can't remember how much they were on Shop Disney UK actually. But they are $30 before tax in Walt Disney World. He's got a little 50th emblem on his left foot and he's wearing a nice suit that's a bit creased. So he's got blue trousers on with an iridescent jacket and a little blue and gold bow tie and I just absolutely adore him. And then obviously I got the matching mini. So she's in an iridescent dress that matches Mickey's jacket and again she's got the 50th stamp on her feet and she's got a big gold bow to match her gold shoes and I'm just so glad I managed to get them. I probably should have held out for Shop Disney UK but if they're not going to tell you in advance what they're going to get you're going to go somewhere else to get them aren't you. Then this one is my final gift from Park Pioneer. I did actually know that I had this because when it arrived on Shop Disney UK I was told not to buy it because it was coming from America for me. So this is the Monsters Inc 20th Anniversary VHS plush. I can't believe it's 20 years old, I'm so old. So it looks like the VHS. If you don't know what a VHS is, either Google it or just don't tell me because I'll feel ancient. If you open it up, there's a little Sully. So you're gonna see him in a future Sully collection video. He's absolutely adorable and he's a really good size as well, but he's got like a really long tag, almost like a wishable, but I just absolutely adore him and I'm gonna keep his box as well. 
So thank you, Joe and Andy, for him. This actually arrived when I was editing this video, so it's perfect timing to put in my what I got for Christmas. This was completely unexpected. It was from my subscriber, Della. So Della, if you're watching, thank you so much. There was this Tokyo Disneyland Halloween bag and there was this Christmas card with koalas on because she's from Australia. It says, hello, Lizzie. A few months back, you did an Alien Remix haul video and we chatted about a particular one we would have both liked to have in our collection. So when I found him, I decided to buy two and send one to you. I hope you like him, I know I do, and what better time to send him to you than at Christmas. Thank you for your videos and letting us share in your love of plush and Disney. Hope you and your family have a great Christmas and an even better 2022. Thanks heaps, Della. And this came not long after we lost our dog, so it's like perfect timing to have a little pick-me-up that I wasn't expecting. And she got me the Lotso Alien Remix. She is correct. I really regretted not getting this one because I love Lotso. He's going to go on my Toy Story shelf, which I need to show you because I have changed it since we moved in. It was one of the Disney Store plushes. I didn't get it at the time because of all the plushes that I needed to buy and all the pins. But I am so happy that she got it for me and I am so, so grateful. So thank you, Della. And then I've just got three boxed plushes left and then we're finally done. I don't actually know how long this video is because I keep cutting it to get up and get things. But the first one has actually fell down in his box. It is the Mickey Mouse Vault plush. I don't think I'm going to keep them in the box, but I think I'm actually going to do a separate video on these and the 50th plushes in better detail with you guys. So I will unbox them in one of those videos. So this was from my mum and dad and we got it from Shop Disney UK because they were really expensive on double box toys so we decided I wouldn't get them and then they were really affordable on Shop Disney UK. They were like $27.50 which for a plush of its size and being in a box wasn't bad at all. And then my mum and dad also got me the matching mini. She is actually stood up and she's held in place whereas Mickey seems to have fell out. I might have kept them in the box had Mickey not fell, but I am gonna have to take them out of the box. But that's no bother because I did want to do another video on this for you. So that will probably be in February. And then the final plush, I asked for it and mom said no because it was $30 but with $40 shipping, which is ridiculous. So I can't believe she did actually go ahead and buy this behind my back. But I think after what happened with the Rapunzel tradition, she just really wanted me to have a surprise. So mum and dad got me the Robin Hood D23 from the Vault Plush. These were sold through Amazon.com. Robin Hood is in my top three, as you know, so I had to get this one. It is absolutely not coming out of the box because it's got its certificate of authenticity. It's really really beautiful boxes and I'm just not going to take it out. It says on the back, the legend of Robin Hood has been told countless times on the silver screen, including Walt Disney's own live action film, The Story of Robin Hood and His Merry Men in 1952. What sets the Disney Studios 1973 animated film apart is the fact that the inhabitants of Nottingham are all animals. Our hero Robin Hood is a sly fox and his love interest Maid Marian is a vixen. The title character's trusty sidekick, Little John, known for his size, is a big lovable bear and the cowardly prince is a scrawny, childish lion. The film's movie poster proclaimed the film as the way it really happened in Sherwood Forest. Udalale. And I just can't believe I own this. So I think I need to do a vlog where I try and find room for it because... I don't know where he's going to go. So that was everything I got for Christmas. The phone didn't ring, the door only went once, and I can hear the TV next door, but that's fine. I did manage to make it through this video in one piece. I'm just hoping that you can hear my voice well enough and you're not picking up on all the other noise. Thank you so much to everyone who wished me Happy Christmas, sent me a card, sent me a present, sent me money. I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what your favourite Christmas gift was for Christmas 2021. I will be back on Tuesday for my Squishmallow collection, so I hope you will join me then. Have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye, friends.